you've never been here before, um, I'm glad you found me. It's good to have you. You should stick around, like forever. Um, if you have been here before, thanks for coming back. I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I got a new hat the other day, <laughs> and so I wanted to share it with you yet again. I, I think in my last hat video, I said that I was done. And then I think after that, I still, after that video, I think I purchased two more. Um, <laughs> but that's, that's a story for another day. Um, but so I recently got hair extensions and I haven't really touched on that on my channel, but, um, the, it was my first time getting hair extensions. I was new. I'm sorry if you can hear that noise. It's my dishwasher in the background. Um, but it, it was a new hairstylist to me. And so I didn't want to, you know, awkwardly be like, can I film this? And so, um, anyway, I haven't addressed it, but I got hair extensions. And the reason I'm telling you that now is because the wefts of hair and I did, uh, sewn in extensions um the wefts of hair create like a little ridge right here and therefore my hats were a little too tight so i if you saw my last video and if you didn't i can post it down below but i sent my gg pip hat to a friend of mine out in california as a, as a gift and so that hat, at least, even though I have purchased two since then, I at least gifted one of them um, and she loves it. So it was a very good decision. Um, so will I purchase Gigi Pip again? Probably. I was really happy with that hat. Uh, and it just was, it just seemed like the right hat for her in terms of style. So anyway, I gifted that to her and so now I have room <laughs> for another hat of that style. But on to why I'm making this video, which is this new little gentleman right here. Um, so this is a, another Stetson. So this particular hat is um, named the Drifter and it's part of their Buffalo series. So I believe that means that there is some bison fur within this hat. So uh, it, it doesn't, Stetson actually, I think will state on their website that they don't give the actual percentages of combination of fur felt within their hats. Um, they prefer to keep that under wraps. I'm fine with that. Um, but it does kind of determine the price of the hat. The more beaver fur that is in a hat, so the, the more expensive it is. So 100% beaver felt is going to be more expensive. And that's just because of the way that the hat will hold up and repel water. Um, and so this particular hat has, um, like I said, it's part of their Buffalo series. And I will try to get a shot of it right there. You can see the stamp inside the hat. But I had to purchase this hat to basically be able to still wear a hat. My other ones, other ones were too tight, so I purchased this in a larger size so that it'll sit comfortably on my head with the hair extensions. And um, yeah, so I ordered this. I did not try it on. I just kind of measured my head, thought that I liked the, the look of the hat, the style of it, and thought that I'd give it a try. So I did. Um, and it came in. I love the color. I love the style, the fit was great, so then I dressed it up. I purchased some ribbon off of a site on Etsy. Um, this particular hat has three colors. They're all pretty similar, pretty faded. Um, strands of silk ribbon. And then of course I dressed it up with feathers. Uh, I just went with like a, a much more simple feather scheme than um, than what I had put on the GG Pip hat. I had some brighter colors in there. And uh, this hat, I didn't, I didn't wanna do that. And then of course I have my knife. I move my knife around from hat to hat depending on which one I'm wearing. So I put it on this one because this is the hat that I'm currently 
going to be rocking. Looks great with my outfit, don't you think? So I tend to like to wear my hats kind of down low on my forehead. I like them to sit just above my eyebrows and, and more flat on my head versus tilted back. So that's just a preference of mine. You can wear your hat however you want, but I just thought that I would show you guys this little beauty and you can tell me if you like it, um, what you think of it. And I haven't truly worn it yet. So I haven't worn it like outside of the house as of yet, aside from just, just sitting in my yard. Please excuse the mess in my house. I'm cleaning, I'm sorry. Um, but. So I haven't like worn it all day to, to know if it's truly comfortable. I can kind of update you guys on that, but I'm really happy with it. It's extremely comfortable. It's a very good fit. So like, when you go on to the Stetson website or just other websites um, that carry the Stetson hats and they'll, they'll have the instructions on how to measure your head and it worked perfectly for me. I did not have any problems. It's, it's a perfect fit. And then I figure, Whenever the day comes that I don't have hair extensions anymore, there's the little spacers, the little kind of like a foam cushion that you can put inside the, the hat and that will kind of make the hat a better fit. So it's just, I think like maybe an eighth of an inch bigger in terms of sizing, but that eighth of an inch makes a huge difference. And so to be able to fit now, but it also will not be too much that I won't be able to put that little foam um, insert in there to make it fit later when I don't have hair extensions anymore. Because that's, that's the, I mean, when you're investing your money into a hat, you don't wanna only be able to wear it for a certain time. Um, now, if you're thinking how sad that the rest of your hats don't fit, uh, if you've ever had hair extensions, um, you know, they, will sew them in in a certain place ne like next to your scalp and then as time goes on eight 12 weeks as your hair grows obviously the extensions grow with your hair and so then they move down and then you go into the salon and they move the extensions like back up closer to your scalp so needless to say um, as that happens i've noticed that as the extensions kind of drop down a little bit um, i'm actually able to get some of my other hats on. So it's not a total loss. Um, this one is still the most comfortable as of right now. I still have um, almost a month before I go in and get my extensions moved up. So I feel like that last few, we that last few weeks, I'll be able to mix up my hats and be able to wear them. But then when, once I get the extensions moved up, then I'll need to wear this hat more often. So I know that sounds really weird, but I'm just telling you why. I mean, not that I have to tell you why I bought another hat, but um, I know it sounds weird, but I'm just telling you kind of like the process of why I purchased this hat when I already have so many fabulous ones. And then the fact that I actually will get to wear all of them even while having my hair. Um, so yeah, so what do you guys think? Do you like the feather choice? Do you like the band choice? Just kind of let me know what you think. Do you think this style looks okay on me? Um, it really, it doesn't matter because I am, I am, I have grown so accustomed to my hats, like into wearing them. Like I just, they make me feel so much, so much more comfortable um, that I really don't like being without. So this is my new hat and I wanted to jump on and share it with you. So, um, that's it for today. Thank you for taking a look at it. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, I'll kind of give you an update later on the, the wear and tear of it, how it holds up, how comfortable it is after it's been on for a full day, just all of that kind of thing. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm glad you found me. I'm glad you stopped by again if you've been here before. Um, thumbs up to my video, subscribe, like it, notification bell, whole nine yards. You guys know what to do. Um, but yeah, so have a good day. Bye.